This crowd is ready as we get set for the World Series. Game one is next. Baseball from the Lone Star State. The World Series on MLB The Show coming up. It's the Arizona Diamondbacks and the Texas Rangers. With Chris Singleton, I'm John Shum. There may be no better atmosphere in all of baseball than game one of the fall classic, Singy. Lots of excitement to get this thing started. Yeah, and the players feel that just as much as the fans. You're down there with goosebumps, and these guys are just trying to stay in the moment. But I'll tell you, for the home team especially, it's so hard not to be emotional and hyped up with all the energy in this building right now. And on the other side, of course, you're looking to swing home field advantage your way with an all-important opening win on the road. First pitch coming your way next. So just about set now. Starting on the mound in this one, Nathan Evaldi. Very dominant his last time out, picked up the win, only allowed one run. These guys would love to see him back on his game in this one. Now it's the right fielder, Corbin Carroll. For Arizona, the right fielder, Corbin Carroll. Bounce to the right. Simeon. Not in time, oh, and he reaches it. safely. Boogie doesn't care how he does it. He just wants to get on base. And when he does, that puts him in a position to do some damage, put some pressure on the defense as well. His wheels are truly a weapon out there. Here's Cattell Marte. And one and two. Chris, you know, you look at Nathan Evaldi's resume. He won the World Series with the Red Sox in 2018. But he was actually originally drafted by the Dodgers back in 2008. He was an 11th round pick. Swings and misses, struck him out. Well, when you swing through that one breaking ball that puts you up against the ropes with two strikes, you think he's either going to double up or try to blow a fastball by you with the next pitch. And right there, he snapped off another curve. It was the same result as the pitch before. Now, here is Gabriel Moreno. Nope. Next pitch is outside. Always known for that power fastball, but interesting, he didn't get a whole lot of swing and miss with it early on. He got better with that stuff as his career progressed. If you talk about that World Series in 2018, he was absolutely fantastic out of the bullpen. Next pitch downstairs, and that's ball three. Righty to the plate. Lifted in the air, right field. And he makes the catch. Two down. That is cool. the now the Diamondbacks line up as put together by Tori Lavello. And now it's Christian Walker. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. The 1-1. One -one. Little trouble with this one behind the plate. In there safely. And he's in to score position with two gone on the wild pitch. Two outs. And there's a foul ball. And the righty deals. And now it's three and two. Well, everyone wants to get off to a great start in a series. So if you can get on the board first, take a lead, you put some of that subtle pressure on the other team. He was a little out front, but did a good job keeping the hands back long enough to foul that pitch off. Swing and a miss for the strikeout. The high heat too much on that one. One left for Arizona. And now the Rangers will get their shot in a scoreless ball game. You're watching the World Series on the show. Back 
back here at the ballpark. And on the mound here today, Zach Gallen. What do we need to know here? Boogie pitched into the seventh, earned the W in his last start. He really needed that one. Well, his team needs another one today. We'll see if he can carry that performance into this game. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Here's Marcus Simeon. Got him swinging. Tell you what, those are the types of guys pitchers really like to punch out when they're on the mound because if they get on, just the distraction that they create with all that speed over on the base pass, it could take away your focus from the next hitter, and that's the last thing you want to do is serve up a pitch that a guy hits over the fence, and it's a multi-run home run. He steps on the bag, and two quick outs in the bottom of the first here tonight. And now we take a look at the Rangers lineup. Evan Carter stepping in for the Rangers. 3-1, and he couldn't come up with it. Looked like a questionable call in that spot. He even seemed a little surprised it went his way at the plate, but as a hitter, you'll take that all day. Gallon checks on the runner, and he's back in safely. Pitchers and catchers have a unique bond in general, but Gallon and Carson Kelly actually lived together for a while when they played at AAA. Technically, it was Kelly's apartment, and Gallon slept on an air mattress. Got to do what you got to do coming through the minor leagues, but that can definitely help to strengthen that bond, be on the same page when you get into the ballgame. Swing and a miss. That's strike two. And the right-hander deals. Ball. And there's a ball. <laughs> In the dirt. No advance. Good job behind the dish. They all pitch. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. That ends the frame. Rangers leave one. We played an inning. No score. Second inning set to go. And now here's the veteran DH, Tommy Pham. And here it comes. Up the middle. Fires over to first. And quickly one away in the second. And it's Lourdes Goriel Jr. Game one of the World Series here tonight. And all he's hoping is that the success that he's had in the first couple of rounds continues. The great thing, you're here in the World Series. Now just try to have fun. Can't glove it cleanly. But plenty of time to recover. And that's the second out. Alec Thomas now. The 1-1. And yeah, that's too high. Next offering is fouled back. And yeah, the pitch. And down on strikes he goes. And the inning is over. Diamondbacks down quickly. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Welcome back. Bottom so half of inning number We're two. Over. And now the DH, the Mitch Garver. Mitch Garver. Next That's offering it. is downstairs. Swings and misses and one down below the zone. Well, and those hitters count sometimes can be a little too aggressive, and a good pitcher will play off of that. He's got to get a better pitch to hit. Lined, and that's a base hit. So a runner aboard to start the inning. Jonah Heim stepping in for the Rangers. The 2-1. And a foul ball. Runner at first with no outs here.
Foul ball, another 2-2 upcoming. You can see he was trying to stay back long enough to handle the off-speed pitch, but just a little tardy on the fastball. Still two and two after the foul ball. Well, he hasn't gotten the result yet, but it's got to feel pretty confident. Three foul balls in a row. He's right on this guy. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. Also really good at bat. What I like about this guy, his bat stays in the zone for a long time. Gives him the ability to foul off tough pitches. 2-2 two -two now. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And one away. Man, that slider bearing in on your hands like that. It's just so tough to fight off. It's kind of like a cutter. It just can beat you up, saw you off. I'll tell you what, hitters have nightmares about that pitch. Perfectly executed out there on the mound. Runner takes off. Throw to second, and he's out. Not a fast runner on the base path, so this kind of looks like it was a hit and run call from the dugout. Got to make contact some way or somehow because that guy's not going to be able to steal second base and be safe. The one two. Just a weak fly ball this time. Marte makes the grab and that'll end the inning. One hit in the inning, but nothing more than that. We head on now to the top of the third. We're tied. Nothing, nothing. And welcome back. New inning getting started. Here's the third baseman, Evan Longoria. Evan Longoria. The next pitch misses, and the count is filled up. On the ground to third. Young tossed oh. the first. One up, one down. Peraldo Perdomo. Perdomo stands in now for the Diamondbacks. And the pitch. Waves at the bender for the strikeout. Well, I don't think there's a hitter alive that hasn't at some point succumbed to that pitch right there. It just looks like it's in the zone the entire way. And then the top spin and gravity take over in the blink of an eye. And it's just such a tough pitch to lay off of. And now one and two. And this guy's got a great feel for his breaking ball today. One, two now. Twings and misses. It's a strikeout. Some high cheese for strike three. Nothing doing for Arizona. Still no score. Back here at the ballpark, here's Josh Young. So far, the playoffs have not been kind to him, but tonight, a chance to start anew. So much of this game is mental. He's just got to tell himself, I'm here. I worked hard all year. Go out, have fun, trust your ability. You know, Siggy, there are some people that say they feel more pressure actually in the league championship series than the World Series because they know this is it. I could totally see that because, you know, you get to the World Series, that's what your whole goal was the entire season. Then you're there, there can be some luck involved. So you just got to shake it off, go out there, Know that this is a rare opportunity and just play your best. The wide, the kick, and the one two. The punch out there, and the struggles continue in the postseason. Committed to that breaking ball just a little too much and couldn't pull the bat back in time. You know, once you get it going, it can be so tough to stop the momentum with that barrel. Good pitch, had him fooled. Next offering is in for a strike. Swing and a miss, and he's down on strikes. That's his second strikeout. Impeccable command in that one. Three batters, three strikeouts. That's electric stuff out there. Welcome back. Cattell Marte up to the plate. And a pitch. That's a little bit low.
In the air, left field. Carter moving under this one. And there's one down. Up next to the diamond back. The catcher. Now, Gabriel Moreno slide to right his first time. Next pitch is in the dirt. Two and one. Swing and a base hit. Well, they call that an advantage count for a reason. You're so much more likely to get something you can handle. Maybe a little out front of the pitch right there, but he squared it up pretty good, and he kept it inside the line. And just a really nice job on the other side by the defense to hold that to a long single. Drops into the glove. Two down. Now better. Here's Tommy Pham. 0 for 1 so far. Now fly ball to right center. Drops in for a hit. Couldn't run it down. And now they'll have runners on the corners with two away. He obviously put a very nice swing on that pitch and really drove it towards the gap. But I'm pretty surprised he only ended up on first right there. And it's kind of hard to say if there was some hesitation or if they just decided to play it safe. Now towards left center. Touches down. That's a hit. And they'll score first. It's one zip. Well, there you go. The RBI machine. Another clutch run scoring at bat. Yeah, he's been so good in these situations. Call it clutch if you want, but his resume speaks for itself. And now, Alec Thomas. The one, two. Well, he might have to look for a different put-away pitch right here, 2-2. Too, too. He's already seen the curveball a couple of times in this at bat, so might have it timed up and ready for it. Kicks and fires. In there! Got him looking for the K. A controversial called strike three to end the inning. One run in the inning, but they leave two. We're midway in the fourth. It's the Diamondbacks one and the Rangers nothing. Ready to go, bottom to four. Go. Digging Ranger, in, Corey Seager. Not shortstop. Corey. 1-1 one, one now. Seager. Hey. He's pitching well, but not throwing a ton of first pitch strikes. He usually doesn't work out for success, but you can never predict That's baseball. It. And another ball. The idea was right. Looking to locate that fastball up and in. He just missed his spot a little bit. So important for him to control the heart rate right now. He's got to go through the heart of this lineup. Fights it off. He'll see another. Right-hander kicks, deals. And now the count filled up three and two. Expect for that guy to come right at you with a fastball, something in the zone, because he does not want to allow the leadoff walk. The three-two is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. Well, that's a nice job of grinding out that at bat. Saw a lot of pitches and ends up drawing the walk. Very gritty. The pitch. And a count one and two. Kicks and deals. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Quite the start to this game on the mound. Looking very dangerous to these hitters. Seven punch outs already. So this lineup hasn't had much success trying to figure him out. I'm impressed with what we're seeing here. And here is Adolis Garcia. Pitch misses outside. Ball two. At the belt and fires. 3 2 now. Mitch Garver in the on deck circle for Texas.
Fouled off again. And it remains three and two. Seeger, the runner at first with one gone in the inning. And that one is lifted in the air. Guriel trying to get there. Brings it in with a nice running grab. And there's two away. Every day during batting practice, these outfielders get about 10 minutes of balls in the gaps. They practice this, and when the game comes, they make the play perfectly. And a 1-1. Out to short. Sneaks through. Base hit. They stop the lead runner at second. Now two on with two outs. A couple of hits in a row for him here. I'm amazed at his ability to pull his hands inside and actually square that baseball off. That pitch was off the plate. So tough to get the barrel to anything in there. Next to hit, Jonah Heim keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. And a 3-2. Spoils the two-strike pitch, and he'll see another. First and second, two down. Who's down looking? Rangers leave a pair. Still behind by a count of one to nothing. Ready now for the fifth inning. And the batter now, Evan Longoria. And a ball in two strikes. That's towards center. Tavares settles under it. One away. Now up next for Arizona, Geraldo Perdomo. Struck out swinging his first time. Runs it up to 96 to record the punch out. Just a mid-90s challenge fastball right there. Not much to it. And I'm sure he'd love another swing at it because it was in a very hittable location. Those are the swings where you can sometimes start to question yourself as a hitter and say, how did I oh, miss that? Hell. But you know what happens. Two down, nobody on. This one smashed down the right field line. And that's just foul. Two, two now. Good job to fight that one off. The why to kick the pitch. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. And good work there as he gets a one, two, three. And the Diamondbacks down in order, but they lead it one to nothing. We head to the bottom of the fifth. Here's Nathaniel Lowe. Well, these fans definitely want to get involved in the game. All it's going to take is to get the leadoff man or even a base runner on. Two and one now. That one missed. Here's an opportunity to do some damage and perhaps unlock this offense. Three run count. Be ready to turn on a fastball. Ripped in the right center. And now maybe extra bases. And the tying runs at second base with a double. Everything came together for him. Solid swing from start to end. On time with everything. Really good balance. Nice extension. And he met it out front for the line drive knock. Now a pretty big at bat coming up with a chance to even this ball game up. Next pitch, not close, up high. In today's game, outs are valuable, so guys aren't just willing to give themselves up to advance a runner. They're trying to drive him in as well in the process. So I don't expect him to shorten up and just try to hit behind the runner here. Low stands at second with no outs. This one popped up. Foul ground first base side. And there's one down. Yeah, that was a wasted RBI opportunity, but competitor like him, he is looking forward to making up for it in his next at bat. One and two now. Swing and a ball popped up. Perdomo makes the grab and there's two gone. Now it's Marcus Simeon, who's over two with a pair of strikeouts. Runner leads away at second. And there's the strike. 
Movement in the bullpen. Number 43. Up and throwing for manager Troy Lavello. Frias getting cranked up as well. The 1 2. Check swing. Appeal to first. Yes, he did. Down he goes on strikes. No runs, one hit, no errors, and a man left. Five innings complete. It's the Diamondbacks one, and the Rangers nothing. And welcome back. Top six. Here's the second baseman, Cattell Marte. The wind of the pitch. And fouled off. Pitch misses there. Two balls, two strikes. Riding to the plate. Bows it back with two strikes. Next offering is in the dirt. He should get a pretty good pitch to hit here with the three-hole hitter coming up if he's walked. Ripped into left center, base hit. Takes the turn. He's digging for second. And he's got a leadoff double. Just a great at bat right there. Saw a lot of pitches. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the barrel straight to it. That's great work right there. And now, Gabriel Moreno. The throw wide at first, and both runners are safe. Manager out of the dugout, and he's... So, out of the bullpen for the Rangers, Dane Dunning. And we all know about his slider. It's just filthy, man. And... One of the better ones in the game, I'd say. Spin rate's very high, and it just breaks a ton. In the air, left side. Carter has a beat on it. Squeezes it. Runner tags for home. He's in on the sacrifice fly, and they take a two-run lead. There you go. Nice little RBI there. It's a great at bat. Got the job done. Tommy Pham now at the plate. One for two. Runner. Righty delivers, and there he goes. Moreno leads off first with one away. Next pitch is inside, and that's ball two. Got him. Two gone now. Here's Lourdes Gurriel Jr. The 1 1. Swing and a miss. Looked off balance that time. Clearly, he was sitting on a fastball right there and just ended up out in front of the slider. Hey, you can't fault him for his commitment. And down on strikes. Out number three. One run, one hit, one error, and one left. 2 3 4 due up in the home half of the sixth. It's the Diamondbacks two and the Rangers nothing. Back here at the ballpark, Seeger stands in down. Not shortstop. The count two and one. Seager. Next offering is outside. Well, these Rangers showing great discipline at the plate, and patience definitely seems to be the name of their game in this one. Starter's leash has to be getting tighter with his pitch count where it is, but so far he's been really effective in this one. Second walk of the game for him, and he's been really patient at the plate. The game plan that he's sticking to, he's just not going outside of what he's looking for up there. Diving, and he can't make the play. They get the force for out number one. Up next for the Rangers, Adolis Garcia. The pitch. 
And a breaking ball drops in for a strike. Double barreled action in the bullpen. Brian Thompson preparing to come on if needed. Nelson warming up as well. Connect on the curveball struck him out. That's a pretty nasty pitch right there. I'd call it a power curveball in the 80s. It's got so much spin on it, and you really don't have a lot of time to sit back and watch what it's going to do before you have to commit. It was a good one for the swinging strikeout. On the ground. A dive. He's got it. Throw to second. In time. Got him. And that'll do it. No runs on no hits, no errors, and a runner left. Onto the seventh here in game one. It's the Diamondbacks two and the Rangers nothing. Welcome back. Here's the Peter center fielder, the Alec Thomas. The center fielder, Alec Thomas. That's hard hit in the line. And there's a hit. Now it's Evan Longoria's turn. Here comes a pitch. Rolled softly, but that goes foul. Next All offering two. misses, and the count is two and two. Stays alive. The 2-2. Two -two. Grounded to third, could be two. To second, that's one. Plenty of time at first, that's a double play. I think there's always something pretty about watching a 5-4-3 double play get turned. I mean, just seeing the ball whipped around the diamond with quickness and accuracy, that was nice. Check swing, but he went too far. And the count, one and two. And he deals. Out there to center. Tavares settles under it. Makes the play, and it's out number three. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the traditional seventh inning correct. Now on the bump, Ryan Thompson. These are the spots where levers really make a name for themselves, late and close. There's not much margin for error, but at the same time, there's a reason they're put in these situations. And a pitch. Good eye right okay. there. Well, with both starters out of this ball game, it now becomes a battle of the bullpens and just seeing which manager can match up better and who's able to get to the finish line. Here comes a 3-2. And it's ball four. He missed down low. That could jumpstart an offense that's really struggled to score in this one. Don't want to wake a team up with the free pass. Two one now. And that one off the outside edge. On this count, runner not known for his speed, but I think you got to put him in motion. Try to avoid a double play here, Boo. The pitch. Fouls one away, and now three and two. And ball four, two aboard. Walks out of the bullpen can absolutely kill your momentum very quickly. They're in some hot water trying to protect this lead. Right-handed reliever, and there's ball four. 
Oh, that sets up a really big at bat in this game. These are the moments when everyone in the stadium gets really locked in. Kyle Nelson comes on now. Well, he hasn't pitched in a while. Coming on here after five days rest, so he should be rested. But we'll see if he has any rest to shake up. The possible tying and go-ahead runs on base. Nobody out. Fouls one away and now three and two. They need a strikeout and you need a ball perhaps on the ground for a double play or get yourself a pop-up, something, but you've got to make some pitches. But if he can battle and get through this, he can earn some points. Ball four, he's walked in a run. Man, that's a tough one to take on the fourth count, but I guess he saw it really well. It's a really nice plate appearance. Ball to strike. Swing and a foul. Pushed off to the right. I think ultimately you want to tie him up. Get the ball in on the plate so that he can't get the barrel to it and hit it to the outfield. The pitch. Line and that's a base hit. One runs in. A second scores as well. It's 3-2. Such great concentration. Everybody on their feet knowing that you can come through with a good swing. And there, he doesn't try to do too much. Now it's Corey Seager. He's 0 for 1. Liner snagged it first. They put the tag on him, and that's out number two. Now at the plate, Evan Carter. And the 3-1. So now two on and two outs. Pretty easy walk right there. Last pitch wasn't even much to think about. So out of the pen for the Diamondbacks, Kevin Ginkle. And this could be a pretty critical point in this game. They're hoping he's the guy to keep him within striking distance. Bounce to the right side. And he grabs it in foul ground. Tavares at third. Carter at first. Two out of the inning. Spoils that one and it remains two and two. The pitch. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. Two outs. Ripped on a line to center. That's a base hit. Runner from third comes across, and it's 4-2. A perfect example right there. That plate discipline, it pays off. The deeper he gets into a count, the more comfortable he becomes, and he usually wins the battle. Mitch Garver up to hit here. And that is cut on and missed. And now 2-2. Two and two. Just missed. And that's awfully close. I don't know how you take that. He's seeing the ball out of the pitcher's hand really well right now. Jonah Heim waiting to hit for the Rangers. Three and two. Payoff pitch. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. Oh, this is their chance to break it open. And if they don't end up winning this ball game, they're going to look back at this opportunity right here and have some regret. Next pitch off the play, and that's ball two. Base knock here really gives them an opportunity to take control of this ball game. You don't want that other team to think they have a shot, and a knock here would be a big blow. The 2-1. And that's in for a strike. hit one runs in the second run scores and they're up by four always feels amazing getting the job done when the team needs you to come through it's just bigger than your own individual stats that pretty much split the zone down the middle and those are the ones where you got to make them pay now on the mound for the diamondbacks line drive that's a base hit out of the left center field here comes garver one run is in time coming home Marte with a relay home, not in time. He's safe as they score a pair on the play. So next to hit for Texas, Josh Young. 
And Boog, I'd say he's due. In the air, right side. Makes the catch, inning over. So they bat around and score eight times to take the lead. We look ahead to inning number eight. It's the Rangers eight and the Diamondbacks two. Taking over on the mound for the Rangers, Chris Stratton. And he's got a nice lead to work with, so he should come in throwing strikes, attacking these hitters. So now one and two. Well, these Diamondbacks just lacking discipline at the plate in this ballgame. They've been chasing pitches outside the zone all game, and it's led to some frustrating moments. They've been fooled quite a bit today. Out towards right center field. Garcia heads after it. He's got it. And there's one away. Cattell Marte stands in now for the Diamondbacks. One for three. Struck him out looking on the backdoor slider. Tremendous job of bringing that ball back over the plate. He gets just enough of it to get the call. And tell you what, as a hitter, it starts out of the zone. It looks really far away. And for it to catch the outside corner, you just have to tip your cap to the pitcher. That misses. Two balls and a strike. Bullpen activity starting up now. Martin Perez, the veteran southpaw, is getting ready to come on if needed. And he flips a breaking ball in there or a changeup. Either one. <laughs> Something off speed. Good arm action on it, whatever it was. Now all even up. And now it's filled up. Slow ground ball to the right side. Simeon toss over to first. And that'll do it. This one pretty well decided at this point. Home half of inning number eight straight ahead. It's the Rangers eight and the Diamondbacks two. So out of the pen for the Diamondbacks, Luis Frias. Well, they need someone to stop the bleed and keep the score right where it is. Seems like a tough task today with the way this lineup is swinging it. Popped up to the left, into foul ground. Longoria calls it in, and there's one away. Next up for Texas, Marcus Simeon. Good swing out of him last time. Ripped a liner in the center. And that one hammered. That's back. And that ball is out of here. Marcus Simeon goes deep, and they tack one on the board. It's 9-2. Chris, he's homered in back-to-back -back games now. Yep, seeing the ball well, and he's got his timing locked in. He's looking pretty dangerous at the dish right now. Just an excellent swing all the way around, and it had that sound coming off the bat that gets everyone's attention. Got a pitch to drive, short to the baseball, squared it up, and the backspin carried it out of here. So now it's Corey Seager. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. The punch out there, two down. Well, big power guy right there and generating so much bat speed. It's hard to bring that to a halt once you've committed. He tried to check the swing, just couldn't do it. The next offering misses, two and one. Battling here as he fouls it away. Next pitch misses, and that's ball three. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. And the righty deals. Popped up. Perdomo in position. And that's the inning. One scores in the inning coming on this solo home run.
Last chance coming up for the D-backs. Will Smith will take over here. And you know, bullpen guys can struggle sometimes when they're called upon with big leads because it just doesn't have the same intensity as a tight game. So we'll see how sharp he is. Your mental toughness matters in situations like this as well. And here it comes. And there's the strike. That one off the mark. Two and two. Two balls. Two strikes. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Oh, nothing too fancy on the strikeout pitch right there. Just a low 90s fastball. And I'm not sure he was trying to challenge him, but that's pretty much what happened. Very hittable location, but he found a way to just get it by him. One down, base is empty. In the air to left center, Carter settles underneath it. He's got it, and there's two away. Hey, man, four pitches, two outs. That is an excellent pace. Two outs, base is empty. Here's Guriel. The one, two. Gets a piece and stays alive. And now two and two. That turns out to be a really good take right there, but you don't want to end this game with the bat on your shoulder. Bounced up the middle. Seeger. Throw to first in time, and this one is over. The Rangers claim game one here at home. That was pretty close one until that huge seventh inning really turned things around. The bats just caught on fire, and it seemed like nobody could make it out. Put a lot of runs up, and that propelled them to the win. This one ends the final 9-2. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Shambi. We'll see you soon. The final line score for our ballgame tonight. For the victorious Rangers, nine runs on eight hits. One error, they left six men on base. For the Diamondbacks, two runs, six hits, no errors. They left four men on base. Thank mm -hmm. you. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm.